Uh, we were advised that there'd been a direct fire attack on an NGO group uh, during the day. We decided that we would uh, clear a Karameo itself and during that with a, a platoon of Tongans and some of the Australian elements. Uh, we're engaged from a long distance from some high uh, difficult terrain in uh, pine forests. Mate, sounds like at least small arms fire from in there. Fortunately, the Tongans kicked in quite aggressively. Uh, we had some difficult terrain to get through. Uh, explosions heard 50 metres from the top. And then the uh, Tongan platoons in, in particular then kept pursuing the enemy through very thick pine forest on very steep terrain and were eventually able to run them down and destroy them. Uh, so we're able to uh, go very quickly from patrolling the streets and meeting locals and talking to them and gaining information through to moving straight into an attack uh, once we were under threat. I find it's a very good uh, working relationship. Certainly, I think the Tongans enjoy working with us and, and seeing how we operate. And they also get to be part of a company which they don't really have the size to do and my guys really enjoy working with them. And as the Tongans were able to prove that even though they're very different in how they operate, they're just as lethal and effective. It's really important that all these countries can work together, uh, in particular the Pacific Island nations as well as Southeast Asian nations need to work together as a coalition. So interoperability between those nations is, is a critical outcome for the exercise.